So to do some green screen work on my iPad, I need two things. I need, number one, some video footage filmed in front of a green wall. And number two, I need some background video. I need something that I want to be in the background of my movie. It could be a still image, it could be a video clip, um, it could be something I've taken pictures of, or maybe something I've saved off the internet. So in my photo library here, I have some generic background images here uh, that I may want to use. And then I also have some green screen footage already. So now that I have all of my stuff already, now I'm ready to put those things together in iMovie. When I open up iMovie, it's gonna ask me to start a new project. And it gives me three different types. I want the one called a movie. And the first thing it's gonna ask me is it's gonna ask me to choose the clips that are gonna go in my movie. I don't wanna choose everything, I just wanna choose the background and then stop. So let's say, I haven't decided between these two backgrounds, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose both of them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit create movie. Now, it's gonna create a movie, and that movie has two pictures in it. Now these pictures, if I scroll through it, you'll notice they move a little bit. I don't want the background to move in my image, so I'm gonna go ahead and simply tap on that video, and you'll see where it says Ken Burns has been enabled. The Ken Burns effect is the effect that gives it that background kind of motion. I don't want it to have that, so I'm gonna simply, again, tap on it and just tap to turn off that Ken Burns effect. So now I'm ready for my green screen footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign, and I'm gonna go to video, because it's a video clip, and I'll go ahead and choose all. And this will show me all the video clips that I have in my um, photo library. So let's say this clip right here is the one that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap the three dots. Now, I don't wanna hit the plus sign. If I hit the plus sign, it's just gonna add that clip to my timeline. All right, that's not what I want. So what I need to do, instead of just hitting the plus sign, is I'm gonna tap on the clip and then tap the three dots. And here's where I get a few different options on how I can have this video clip with a special effect in my movie. And one of those is called a green slash blue screen. So when I tap green slash blue screen, it will add it and it'll add it on top of another clip wherever it was in my timeline. So you'll notice it put it right on top of this clip here in my timeline and anything that was green disappears and you see exactly what was left behind it. Now, if I wanted this green clip to be on top of the other image, I can simply tap to select, press and hold with my finger and drag it over here, and it would be on top of this clip instead. Now, it looks pretty good, but it's not perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes to fancy it up and make it look a little bit more real. Now, number one, I think I've decided that I like this background image better than this background image. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this image here, and I'm gonna delete it. And so I'm just gonna keep it with this image right here. Now, the original video, if I looked at it up here on my timeline, it's actually a lot longer than what the image is down at the bottom. So I can stretch out an image to make it however long I want it to be. So I could make it a really long image to make sure it matches however long my video clip is. So now, if I stretch out the video, I get the entire thing until it runs out. Now you'll notice that the green screen doesn't fill the entire back wall. So you see other things in the image that still existed uh, in the original footage. Now I can fix that by simply tapping on my green screen clip. And in the upper right hand corner, I have two different buttons. I have this one here that controls the strength of my green screen. So if maybe it didn't make all of the green dis disappear, um, I can adjust the strength by moving this little slider one way or the other. Uh, for the most part, it does a pretty good job by itself. And then the second button here is this one gives me corners on my video that I can crop the video down to just the areas where the green screen was. So if I click and drag and move it just to the areas that were green, so you'll notice my green screen up here in the upper right hand corner ended right here. So I drag that to the end 
and I drag this to the end just like that. Maybe a little bit more up here at the top. I can crop down that image to just where the green was. So now if I tap off of that clip, you'll notice that I have my green screen video. The green has been removed and everything that's behind it or underneath it in my clip shows through. So as I go through and watch my footage. So now you'll notice when I get to the end of this clip, it disappears. Uh, once that clip is finished playing, uh, in my timeline, it disappears and then it shows me just where the image is behind it. So in order to fix this, what I can do is I need to shrink up this bottom image. So if I simply tap on it and click on the edge, I can shrink it up and look at my clip to see if that was enough. Nope, looks like I need a little bit more. I tap on it again and shrink it up a little bit more until it matches where both of the clips end at the exact same point. And at this point, then those clips are gonna end at the same time and there won't be a, a jump from one to the other. Now, if I change my mind and I decide, you know what, I think I wanna have a different picture behind them instead of this one, uh, what I can simply do is I can go over here to my photos and I could choose a different image to be able to insert. So maybe I wanted to put him in the courtyard or maybe in front of school here. So I'll simply tap on this image. Um, I have the cloud to download it. And then when I hit the plus sign, it's gonna add this right to my project here at the beginning. Again, I wanna tap on it, turn off Ken Burns effect so it doesn't move. And then I would simply put my clip on top of it and then click on it and stretch it out so that it matches the whole length of my dancing person. And then when I go to play, now the person is dancing in front of it. And because I didn't delete the other one, it jumps right from one to the other. So you can control and make things look real, um, as real as you want by using green screens uh, in your clips. And now when I'm done, I simply hit done. I'm gonna tap the share arrow and I can tell it to save this video right to my camera roll.